Hey everyone, it's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. And the players that I'm going to give you are based off of recent history. This is a uh, data channel. Um, so I don't have the lines, they're not out yet. So if you're on a player prop app, you can do what you want with it. You can take fantasy score. Um, you could take uh, hits, runs, RBIs, total bases, whatever you feel like. If you're on a sports book, you could do uh, hits. If you're on the sleeper app, you could do hits. Uh, it's all up to you what you feel is best based off the opportunities that I give you. But I don't want to waste any time and get right into the first one. The first one's going to be Mookie Betts of the LA Dodgers. Um, since the All-Star break, since he's come back, he has seven hits and 13 at-bats. So that's a 538 average, and he's got one home run. Uh, since returning from the all-star break um, he'll be going up against Grayson Rodriguez who gives up a 292 average and a 341 on base percentage to right-handed batters so this is a good opportunity for Mookie Betts who is playing well out of the all-star break um, Grayson Rodriguez is actually worse against left-handed batters so some notable left-handed batters I want to point out on the Dodgers are going to be Max Muncy and uh, Freddie Freeman. So you can take a look at those guys. And before I get into the second pick, I want to point out one of my partners, uh, Parlay Play. Use promo code FINAROUND11. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Um, they do a seven man up to a 75X play. Um, they also do two man insured plays. And once a day, you can do something called slide the line where you can move the line up or down on a player uh, to make it to your advantage. Uh, so they're doing a lot of cool things, a lot of different things than other player prop apps. Uh, so check them out. I'll have a link in the pinned comment for Parlay Play and uh, you can get that $100 match with promo code FINAROUND11. And second pick is gonna be Kerry Carpenter of the Detroit Tigers. Since returning from the All-Star break, he has 11 at bats and five hits. So that's a 455 average. He has three home runs and six RBIs. So he's playing very well coming out of the All-Star break. He'll be going up against Jordan Lyles of the Royals, who now his record is 1-11. and 11. Jordan Lyles, uh, just, just not his year. Um, he's giving up a 267 average, a 329 on base percentage, and a 524 slugging percentage to left-handed batters. Uh, so this could be a good opportunity here for Kerry Carpenter uh, to get another home run if you want to look at that um, because he's just been hitting the ball very well. A lot of the other Detroit Tigers haven't been doing too hot, but uh, you, so I would potentially stay away from something like hits, runs, RBIs, and maybe stick to something like total bases. Uh, but if he's hitting home runs, he's going to be getting uh, the RBIs, so it's, it's really up to you what you want to do with that. And before I get into this third pick, if you could please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have a little bit of extra time, can you leave a comment for the algorithm? Uh, YouTube told me recently that a lot of people were commenting and it's been, uh, it makes the reach wider. So thank you to the people who do comment. All it takes is one little thing, you press submit and it tells YouTube to get it out there. So thank you to the people who do do that. Uh, my third pick can be Taylor Ward of the Los Angeles Angels. Now, I'm recording this before he's playing his game, so since the All-Star break, he has 10 at-bats. I don't know how he's going to bat tonight, uh, but in those 10 at-bats, he has five hits. So that's 50%, 500 average, um, and he has one home run. Uh, he's going up against Luis Severino of the New York Yankees who used to be a really great pitcher and he's just been really off this year. So you can look at, you can target a lot of angels in this matchup, uh, unless Severino has figured something out over the all-star break. Uh, but he's giving up a 302 average, a 370 on base percentage and a 552 slugging percentage to right-handed batters. And he's actually worse against left-handed batters. Uh, so some notable left-handed batters to look at for the Angels will be Mike Mostoskis, uh, who actually has history against him. He has seven at-bats against Severino uh, with a 429 average. So good history there, even with uh, Severino when he was pitching well. And uh, Shohei Otani is also a left-handed batter. He is... He has seen Severino four times and he's got one hit, so that's a 250 average. So you can take a look at Mike Mostoskis and uh, Shohei Otani as well as Taylor Ward. Just a good matchup overall for the Angels. Um, unless Severino uh, finds his old self. So if you'd like to discuss these lines further, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. It's completely free. Uh, there's a lot of conversation about esports 
Korean baseball. Uh, I saw some tennis today. Um, there's WNBA, of course, baseball conversation. Um, a lot of people doing their own research and bringing it there. Uh, it's just a great community overall. So I uh, would love for you to join, hop on in. And uh, we're all just trying to find the best plays uh, for each other so we can all make money together. And with that, I don't charge for any of this information. If you feel like giving back and you, you do well with this, I have a Cash App and Venmo in the description and you can donate back to the channel. I did want to say one thing. I know you've probably heard of this a lot, but yesterday I watched the movie um, Sound of Freedom. And I know a lot of people know that um, uh, human trafficking is going on and it's just uh, it's it's a big problem and it's it's a modern day slavery. Uh, pretty much. Uh, so if you haven't seen that movie, I would recommend that you do go see it um, just to support the people who made it and also to make it a, a little bit more real in your mind of, of what's going on to, to hopefully help people um, take the step uh, of, you know, maybe donating to organizations and doing the whatever we can. Uh, to help with this problem. I know news outlets or whatever are trying to make it all political, but it's not a political thing. Um, I, I'm not saying it's political. Uh, it's it's a problem uh, and it should be a problem for, for anyone just morally. So uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I would definitely say uh, just check it out. So with that, I hope you all do well for the day. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, God bless you all. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.